for the first time ever, a prosecutor is going to be jailed for convicting an innocent man. This is a big story out of Texas. Lewis Huffington Post has it. Former prosecutor, pro former prosecutor and judge Ken Anderson pleads guilty to intentionally failing to disclose evidence. And the lack of disclose, the lack of disclosure of that evidence 25 years ago sent Michael Morton, who is innocent, to prison for the murder of his wife. Here's an example of the evidence that was withheld. The only witness to the crime made statements that it wasn't Michael Morton who did the killing. That's pretty strong exculpatory evidence, Lewis. However, Ken Anderson withheld that evidence and Michael Morton sat in prison for 25 years while Ken Anderson had a great career as a prosecutor, eventually became a judge. What is the punishment for Ken Anderson? He's going to have to give up his law license. He will have to perform 500 hours of community service and he is going to spend 10 days in jail. Is this uh, this is actually a really big deal because no time before has a prosecutor ever been jailed for convicting an innocent person. But he took 25 years from Michael Morton are 10 days in jail and 500 hours of community service and giving up his law license even close to enough to compensate Michael Morton, remembering that Michael Morton can also seek financial compensation from the state. Uh, terrible, terrible sentence. Whoever thought this was a, a just sentence should also be jailed. Uh, I hope those 10 days in jail are the worst 10 days in a prison anyone has ever had in the history of the world. Um, this is completely ridiculous. He, he jailed this person and withheld evidence to advance his, his career. Um, this, I don't understand it. 10 days in jail is, is insane. Send me your thoughts about this. Is, is the sentence too light? Remembering that there, there can be financial compensation for Michael Morton as well.